Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? How's, how's your day? How's things? Uh, the um, hurricane is hitting my region now. It came up into the mid-US and now it's headed this way. It's been a, a thunderstorms off and on, so hopefully this goes up tonight and we don't have any issues, but we'll see. Uh, how's things in your world? I hope they're good. Um, so this week, uh, a bunch of stuff happened gaming news-wise, and I it's been a while since I've talked about gaming stuff, um, particularly video gaming. Uh, so I wanted to kind of hit up, I've, I've had quite a few people point me to the new uh, Fallout announcement. Uh, if you're not aware, uh, Bethesda put up this live stream, a 24 hour live stream of, why well, maybe it was like 12 hours, I don't know. It, it seemed like it was up all day of um, just like a pit boy staring at a screen with like a Fallout, like the, you know, hold please kind of logo in the background and every now and then somebody would come in on camera and do something like throw some balloons or you know look at their pit boy or whatever and it was speculation for like a good day on the internet of what this was and people were talking about how well the backdrop's not it, it not black and white it's in color and those colors are mardi gras colors so this is fallout new orleans and all this sort of stuff well then finally it got announced and it's called fallout 76 and uh, during the announcement trailer, which is here, I'm not going to play it because I'll get copyright. I'll, you can see it, but not hear it. Uh, John Denver's Country Roads Take Me Home is playing. And uh, that song is like, I live in West Virginia, and that song is essentially our motto, I guess. I, I don't know. It's not really about West Virginia, in my opinion. It's about Western Virginia, which is not the same thing as West Virginia, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, people here love it. It's played at every Mountaineer game, all this other stuff. Like, we're, we're so proud of that song, even though it's not really about us. But because of that, people have been sending me the link. Like, oh, did you see this? Did you see this? Yes, I saw it, obviously. Um, I am a big Fallout fan. I played Fallout 1 and 2, uh, when they first came out in the, I don't know, late 90s or whatever. Um, I did not play Fallout 3 because it was during the gen situation with the Wii and everything else, but I did play New Vegas uh, because I didn't have a computer that could play 3. Uh, when I got a computer, I could play New Vegas, and I chose to play New Vegas. Amazing. Uh, and then Fallout 4, I have not played because it's garbage. Like, I've watched my nephew play it, and it's just so bad. I'm not... I'm not even really interested, but I'm a huge fan of the universe. I'm a huge fan of the world of Fallout, of the idea of the kind of campy post-apocalypse. And um, so I'm really excited for this. It looks to me like it's not, it's definitely not like Fallout 5. It's not a core storyline game. Uh, I, I'm going to assume it's some sort of uh, city builder slash survival style game, you know, everybody and their mother is building those types of games and has been since Minecraft, so I feel like that's probably what it's going to be, um, and I'm perfectly okay with that. Uh, I'm, the graphics in the game, the funny thing is I saw some, um, I saw some press talking about it was a PS4, Xbox One, PC title, but the graphics that they showed in the, in the teaser at least look like mobile graphics, like they look really bad. They're definitely not current gen graphics. So I was thinking, you know, Nintendo Switch is probably in the mix. And so they're just showing like these bare bones graphics, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. Um, could it be set in West Virginia? Yes. I think, I think that that John Denver song was picked for a specific reason. It's either going to be in West Virginia or in Western Virginia, like on the border. Uh, we do have uh, a fallout shelter, a literal government fallout shelter in West Virginia on the Eastern border. And it's called Green Buyer. It was uh, the presidential fallout shelter. It was built a long time ago as a presidential uh, command center. It, it was basically a duplicate of <coughs> the command center in Washington uh, just here. It was decommissioned long ago, but it's still there. So it's very possible that this fallout will be set somewhere around that area. And I think some people have even gone and done research to find that this Vault 76 does you know, exist outside of D.C. And... Uh, it was one of the first to open, you know, it was one of the control vaults, which means it didn't have any weird experiments. It was just people when they were supposed to colonize the new land after the war and all that stuff. So theoretically, it will be set, you know, in my home state. Is it anywhere near me? No, not really. Uh, Vegas is, or Vegas, Washington, D.C. is about four hours from me. So 
yeah, I've been to that region. I know that region very well. There's lots of wilderness and camping and hiking and stuff there, but I don't live there. I don't go there that often. So it'll be familiar to me, but not like my hometown or anything like that. But I thank you. Everybody who sent me the link and asked if I had seen it yet and wanted me to talk about it, thank you for sending that. I'm really excited about it. I look forward to it. It's obviously going to be some sort of multiplayer cash grab. I hope it's not as bad as Elder Scrolls Online. Like, please don't screw this up, Bethesda, but chances are you will, and uh, chances are it'll just kind of die into obscurity, but I'll probably still play it anyway just because it's Fallout, and it's going to be the first console Fallout game that I play. Everything else I've played on PC. So, we'll see. But that's what I got. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being my best friends. Um, thank you for hanging out with me. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait. I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from CNN. How many different smells can your nose remember? Your nose can smell at least one trillion scents. Scientists had long assumed our noses could distinguish about 10,000 odors. Human beings tend to think of themselves as visual first, auditory second, and then touch and taste. One trillion scents.